All right, guys, how's it going? Good to be back here, and this is gonna be our session four. Let's take a look. So we have something left here, like I mentioned in the previous one. We got a notification left here, and also I guess we have something about the system maintenance left here. And by the way, we got the big deal, which is gonna be the web client. So later on, we'll talk about the web client as well. Now, let's start with our event notification here. Take a look. So basically, event notification is nothing special, but it really matters. Whatever happens on your system, you won't miss it, right? You want to get notified, so you can basically go click on System, Event Notification, check here. All right, those items, take a look. Those events, we mark them with different levels. We get information, we get warning and alert. So something serious, we just mark it as alert. And here you also got a switch, which which is the notification. So if you turn it on, then if this issue happens in the future, we're going to notify the contacts. That's it. Now, take a look. Another thing we have here is going to be the notification contacts. It really matters. Now, currently, I got one notification contact here. This is the one I actually set it at the very beginning when I activate the PBX, right? Now, you can also add more con uh, contacts here to get the notification. The contacts could be one of your extension users, could be a custom contact, depends on you. And uh, just name it if this is uh, outside contacts, okay? And you can choose the way how we're going to notify this guy by sending email or calling mobile anyway. And one more step here left is going to be this. Select the level of notifications, uh, which level of our events you want to notify this guy. Information, warning, or alert. That's it. So this is basically about the notification center, I guess. Not a big deal. And also, by the way, whatever happens on your system when you log into the interface, you will always see this. The bail on the right side corner, you got the notification. All right, so click on that. We're going to go access the event logs. So if you just confirm all of these issues are not a big deal, we can just click on Marco as red. That's it. So it's all clear. This is the way how we make use of the event notification. I guess it's not a big deal, once again, like I said, but it truly matters. Okay, now let's keep going. Another thing left here is going to be the maintenance. Let's take a look. So maintenance first part will be upgrade. I guess this is not a big deal. If you want to upgrade the instance right over here, you can just go click on check for new firmware. But by the way, just don't forget if you truly need this feature available on this interface, on instance, I guess you will need to enable uh, allow instance to get the new update on the YCM. So if you disable this function on the YCM, then end users, they cannot enable this feature here. They cannot uh, get the new update here on the in uh, instance here. All right. And the next step, backup and restore. Well, I guess for individual users, for end users, if they need a backup, they can do this by themselves. They go click on backup here. So they can basically create a backup for the PBX. That's what it is. And they can also set a schedule to make a backup. Okay. Uh, next one is going to be reboot. So whatever happens, I guess this might be the easiest way for troubleshooting. You can just click on reboot. Uh, try to figure out what's going on there. And mostly the tiny issues will be solved by reboot. By system rebooting. All right. And this is going to be the reset. Be careful with this. If we try to click on factory reset, uh, it's better for us to get a backup all the time. All right. Just get prepared with the backup, then we can just reset it to the factory mode. And next part will be operation locks. Whatever you've done on the system, uh, they're all recorded here. It's just a lock for the operation. And uh, here's the system lock, by the way. So whatever happens, you need a check, you go check it here. And the last one will be the troubleshooting. Let's take a look. For troubleshooting tool here, we got three options. We have Ethernet Capture Tool. IP pin and trace route. So if you have something wrong with your SIP channel, for example, you can absolutely use the Ethernet capture tool. Uh, you click on start, then really we just make a call. Till the problem happens, then we click on stop. This is the way how we capture the valid packet and then uh, we're gonna use the third party application, I guess, where a shock might be a good choice. Drop this packet in it and you will get the feedback, you will get the stats, you will get the analyzation there. And IP pin here, pretty simple. You want to pin the connection, drop the target host there, click on start, and you will get the final result in the list. 
And trace route will be similar. If you really want to figure out exactly where did you send the packets out, you want to trace route it. You can do it here as well. So all these are all the basic maintenance on the Cloud PBX instance side. And、uh, as you guys can see, truly nothing special. All the things are very fundamental because the whole deploying,、uh, the whole deployment, and the maintenance are handled by Yastar. So really nothing we need to worry about. Everything will be handled by Yastar. That's really easy, really simple. Okay, now let's keep going. So I guess basically that was all about our basic configurations on this panel, and I think one more thing left on our session today.、Uh, it's gonna be the web client. Now, let's just switch the user account. So we're gonna log out of this panel, and I'm gonna log into the system with my individual user account, which is gonna be this. I think the password might be something special. Let me try this. Oops. Yeah, that's the wrong password.、Uh, All right. I guess it's not a wrong password issue. That's actually a wrong user account. So, guys,、uh, be careful with this. All right. If you set the user account, try to remember this. Otherwise, you will get confused, like what I did. Now, let's try to use this user account and the password to log in. Okay. Okay. Now we're in the panel. Have a look. So this is basically what it is: the web client, exactly the thing I mentioned before. Now, once we're in the web client, first thing first to take a look. This is your user account. Like I mentioned several times, extension number one thousand. That's it. And you can manage your presence over here, right? So that's for unified communications.、I'll、manage your presence right over here. You can switch from available to do not disturb. Anyway, do it there. And here it's going to be the web client. It's so clear, basically shows you、uh, right right over here on the on the, on the top side here. And there, here's also a you know a drop down list. When you click on it, you can hit you can see something else. Now let me tell you something, guys. Our PCers Cloud Edition do support.、Uh, it does support the、uh, CTI mode. Now currently you can see when I click on it, I only have web client, right? However. If I get a hardware IP phone registered simultaneously with my web client, when I click on that, there will be the IP phone posted here as well. That's the CTI mode. And if I select the IP phone, well, this panel will just work as the control panel, the control center,、uh, for handling every single call through the IP phone. That's it. Okay. Now let's keep going. And、uh, take a look. First thing first, this is going to be all of our extensions. And I do remember.、Uh, I think you guys also remember it, right? In the previous sessions, we were talking about something called extension group. So have a look. Previously, we created two extension groups: sales department and tech support. So now here's the deal: if you have the extension user to see the visibility of this sales department, then you click on it. You're gonna be able to see people who's in the sales department, and you can also switch it to tech support. However, if this particular extension group、uh, visibility It's not available for you to check. Then you cannot see it. That's it. So be careful with this. All right. And、uh, this is web client, absolutely based on web. So web RTC is totally supported. So if you want to make a call now, you can go click on this button.、Uh, there will be some pop up here, notification. So you can start a call right now, right here. That's what you can do here. And the notification you see there on your browser basically is just something to get authorized from your side to enable microphone, camera, something、uh, on your browser. That's it. And、uh, also we got this chat function. You click on that, that will be the chat panel. So this is going to be the instant message feature. So you can share documents, send emojis, whatever you want. You can also start a video call, audio call here. All right. And by the way, about the video call feature, guys, the video call feature it requires the ultimate plan. So this particular instance, all right, this particular cloud PBX, it hasn't been enabled with this、uh, ultimate plan. That's why you guys can see I only have the、uh, audio call feature. I don't have the video call feature. So once again, if you need the video call feature, back to the YCM here. All right,、uh, here, go click on more. You can see this upgrade plan. All right, go upgrade the plan, upgrade it to the ultimate plan. Then you will be able to have the video. Feature and also the video conference feature. Okay, now let's keep going. 
Then, what else do we have here? Another thing we have here is going to be the contacts. Let's take a look. So, contacts feature, we do support personal contacts and company contacts. It depends on you. So, if you have the user permission, you can absolutely visit company contacts. You can even manage company contacts. That's what you can do there. And not just the contacts feature. If the super administrator configure a bunch of phone books, you can also manage the phone book if you have the user permission. So it really helps, especially you have clients, you have customers, you have vendors, you have、uh, suppliers. You want to make it be more specific. I'm pretty sure you need phone books. All right. Now let's keep going. Another feature is going to be video conference. This is the thing I mentioned before. See this? This is a demo upgrading your plan to unlock this and more video conferencing features. That's what I was talking about. So if you want to have the video conference feature, go upgrade this instance to the ultimate plan. Otherwise, you don't have the video conference feature. That's it. And by the way, this video conference feature is also based on your web browser, based on WebRTC. So for anyone who's gonna join your session. They don't have to get the user account. You will simply need to share the video conference link to them. When they click on the link, they're going to join the session. That's it. Simple and plain. And next one, operator panel. The operator panel feature is one of our important UC functions on the PeaceService Cloud Edition. Absolutely. So for every single one of our individual users, this feature it's available. And as for whether they can use it or not, it depends on the super administrator's user permission control. So if I assign the user permission to this guy, extension 1000, I get the user permission to do it. So I can definitely use the operator panel to manage incoming costs, outgoing costs, internal costs, and external costs. So call transfer, call distribution, call parking, whatever. I can just use my mouse control for all of these operations without feature code. That's something special with the operator panel. And next part will be call center and console. Take a look. So we get a word board, exactly the panel for telling all of our agents about the team performance. So like this is the sales department, right? The queue I created before. You want to figure out the team performance? Go check on this panel, the SLA performance,、uh, the incoming costs. Anyway, this is a real time feedback panel. We totally got a 16 widgets. They're all customizable. So you can make it smaller, make it bigger, delete it, do whatever you want. And you know what? If you prefer, you can even take this panel out of your browser. This is totally supported. So if you got a big screen, you can post this on the big screen instead of your personal web browser. Okay. And we also got a queue panel, another visualized panel for people who's in charge. Like、uh, I'm the supervisor, I'm the manager. I want to manage the sales department. So I can take a look here. For dynamic agent, I can lock them in. For static agent, I can take a pause for them. If I got an incoming call or outgoing call, whatever it is, post it here by real time, and I can use my mouse control, drag and drop, for my operations. Other settings here like、uh, call logs, voicemails, recordings. They are all synchronized with our PBX. So whatever you have here, you have the same thing on your mobile client and your PC client. And you can also have the same thing on your IP file, like、uh, recordings, voicemails. You want to check it? You have the same thing. And the last one will be preferences. This is basically the place for you to customize your user account,、uh, avatar, name, whatever. You do it by yourself here. And besides that, here we also have access management portal. Once again, guys, if you want to access the management portal, you want to see what can you do there. Check with your user role. Now I'm currently logged into the system as extension 1000 like this. So my user role is administrator. Means I get the user permission to fully access the configuration portal. So I can access this portal, do whatever I want to manage the system. I can configure extensions, contacts,、uh, auto provisioning, call control, whatever it is. Okay. So anyway, guys, basically these are all about our web client. And、uh, once again, so web client is quite quite special. It's just a platform for individual users.、Uh, every single individual users they can log into the web client. They can use it for communication, for、uh, collaboration, whatever it is. Okay. 
And once again, just like I mentioned, advanced features, especially the video call feature and video conference. If you need it, don't forget to get back to the Yaystar Central Management, find this particular instance, and go click on more, upgrade the plan. All right. Otherwise, this instance is still under the enterprise plan. There's nothing you can do for video conference and video call feature. Okay. All right. So, guess that was all we have for this session. Uh, thank you so much for your time, guys. Uh, need more information about our cloud edition of the PCR system? Guess you guys can simply check on our Yaster panel portal, and you can also visit our website www.yaster.com. Have a nice day. Take care.